just I know y'all got a chance to see it in the nighttime. I'm just adding this on since it is now daylight. Even though it is still kind of dark right here. But you can see the caliber painted. Didn't turn out too bad. Could have been a lot better, could have been a lot worse, right? This See how that turned out. That's it, it didn't turn out too bad. Could have been a lot better. No more pretending. See it, and if I want it, you know I'ma get it. Cause I'm a hustler, stay on my grind and go get it. Fuck with a nigga saying I ain't fearing no nigga. These lanes be talking, but it be behind my back. Scared to say it to my face, cause they know how I react. Keep a lot of scraps, so we could throw them hands, you won't do that. So why you talking behind my back? Like you on a strap? Nigga, this ain't no rap. This here is real shit. Got these pussy niggas mad, all up in they feelings. But me, I'm posted up. Got these hoes like I feel them. And wanna dime, Polo Nino, yes, I'm him. Ooh, what's going on? Back with another video. As always, it's Big Less ENT. If you like the channel, like the videos, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Um, and hit the notification bell so you can stay in touch with every video that I post. Because in reality, you need to watch them all. Now today, we're going to be working on replacing my rotors and brake pads all the way around on my Range Rover. As you can see here. Right now, I have the stock wheels on here um, until my rims are finished, but I want to go ahead and get that done. So that way, when my rims do come, all I got to do is put them on. I'm also, hopefully, um, find some um, caliber paint. If I can, I'm just going to go ahead and paint my calibers now. Uh, the weather should be nice the next couple days, so my car um, can sit outside until the paint dries. It only takes like two hours to dry, and then you let it sit for 24 hours to cure. I want to put a coat on, a whole can on, and then I'm going to put another whole can of clear coat on to kind of seal it in place. Plus, I'm going to do the extra shit, grind them down, spray them with Calibre, brake, brake parts cleaner, the whole nine to give them the best chance of sticking really well and looking amazing. The only issue I was really having was what color I wanted to go with. I bought red, but I think red is going to look better on my Camaro. Red is going to be dope on here, isn't it? Red sticking out. So what I decided to go with, as you can see in the car, so many colors. It was kind of hard to see now, but see all them colors. I really was looking for that dark purple. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I couldn't find it. Or that green. So I said, what's the next best color to go with? Probably that gold. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with that gold if I can't find purple. I don't want to do black and I don't want to do red. And as you can see in the rims, every now and then that gold kind of hits. So that's pretty much what I'm on today. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get, get my cars moved around and situated. Um, then I'm going to take all jacket up, take all the tires off, put it all on jack stands, and just go around and do everything kind of one at a time. And you get some idea how to replace rotors and pads on a Range Rover. So, be back in a minute. Alright, as you can now see, I got to use the, get myself the most space in this truck. I mean, my garage to work since I am taking off all the tires, putting it up on jack stands. And it will be sitting like that for a while. Now, one thing I do suggest uh, when you're in the process of doing that is to lift it max to the max which means pressing this up button press that up button until this little car with the up arrow is fully extended and stays extended now that's for people who still have the air ride on their vehicles which i still have the air ride on mine you can see how it looks now that it's maxed out see how big of a space it is like that in the front and how big the gap is in the back it just helps when jacking it so that you don't have to jack it um 
do so many pumps to get it up off the ground because as you're jacking it up, it's going to keep trying to extend it. So, still debating on the goal. Look, see, this is why I say the goal. Really, really that, like, lime green would be a good one. But see how this rim look compared to how that rim look. Give y'all a little bit more visual from this side. See, if I could find that color purple for the calibers, it'd be dope because the base for the chameleon paint is that color purple. But it do has that gold in there and it definitely has that green in there. So that's where I'm at on that, still undebated. But I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up, take all the tires off, put it all on jack stands and get back with you in a minute. All right, YouTube, I'm back. As you can see, I have the caliber off. Let me turn my light on. As you can see, I have the caliber off. And the caliber bracket off. Let me turn this light back off. It causes a glare. So that's how it look. Once you got one side off, I just hang the caliber up there. Making sure this hose is not too tight. Thing heavy. You can see that's double pitching, so that's that's really a good thing. Slow this big way down. It's actually some pretty big calibers, heavy duty calibers. Alright, that's the caliber bracket. As you can see how this looks. As you can see, the caliber bracket got two bolts, these two bolts here and here. And the caliber itself is held on by this. And by that now you're going to need some tools you're going to need this 5 8 this is for the caliber bolts the big ones they look like that the caliber bracket bolts so that's how they look the smaller ones is the, the caliber itself bolts and this also this little thing here is what holds this is what holds the um the brake rotor on i'm gonna show you all this stuff assembled on the other side i'm just showing you one side broken down you also definitely going to need a c-clamp show you back here so very similar for the back, except the back only have one piston. You can see that, just one piston. Here's the caliber bracket for the back. Here, just the two bolts to hold the caliber in place, and then the two bolts to hold the bracket on. Which is the same, the front and the back is the same. So, for that little bolt, as you can see here, how I got this little hole. I'm going to show you on the other side just so you can see it. This hex head, which is a um, six millimeter. You see that? Six millimeter. The six millimeter is what takes that off. It's on there tight. If you did like I did and you broke the whole calibers down. Stick a flat head inside the rotor. Hold that with one hand and twist it with the other hand. They shouldn't be crazy tight. That's an easy way to get it out. You can see the brake pads over there on the ground. Caliber. So this whole side is complete. You need a 5 8 for the caliber bracket bolts. And I use this. You know, I love my electric tools which is a 13, you can see that, light blocking it, see the 13, so you need a 5 8 short, a 13, 6 point short, a 13, 6 point short, a 5 8 short, 
that's what I got on that half drive ratchet over there. A C clamp and a six millimeter hex to get that bolt off. Now that's what they look like taking apart. This is what it looks like still assembled. As you can see. See the caliber bracket bolt right there? The little Allen, Allen key, they gotta come out six millimeter. I lube down all this stuff already, highly suggested. You can see the caliber bracket still on. The caliber bolt still on, and the caliber bracket is still on on this side. And let's go to the front. Because I only broke down one side, so I can show you what both sides look like. You see this bolt there, hex head to hold the caliber, I mean to hold the brake rotor on. On this side, you do have a um, sensor for the brakes. You also have it on the back. They just pull out. They got clips on them. And you can kind of just pull, you can really pull it out while it's in there. But um, it's in there pretty tight. I don't want to break it. Try your best not to break these because replacing them, is, sometimes they're hard to find and they cost maybe like 12 or 13 bucks. But you can see this set up. Oh, you also need a wrench. The wrench hole, hole goes here. The 13 goes there. I'm gonna show you what size wrench I use. And you can see, well, it's kind of dark, but you can't see the caliber bracket bolts. But once you get the caliber out the way, then it's easy to see the bracket bolts. And like I say, this really just kind of pulls out. It's new, so it's kind of in there tight. I might need some needle nose to pull it out, but do not break it. Don't force it out because, yes, it's a $15 fix if you force it out. They say replace it anytime you replace the brakes anyway. But if you catch your brakes before they all the way worn, you don't have to, re I wouldn't, it's unnecessary to replace it. My brake pads aren't worn. I'm just replacing my rotors. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put new brake pads on it. But as you can see, my brake pads were maybe half worn. Like, see? So I still had a lot of left on these brake pads, but they, I got them under, a lifetime warranty so why not replace them now that I'm replacing the rotors and this is the wrench for the back it's a different size for the back and the front for the back it was a 15 you're gonna need that wrench and that 13 socket to take that off and for the front because the front calibers are bigger it was 11 16 and a 13 to take the front off so that's where we at. I got one whole side done. I haven't took the rotor off yet. I just wanted to show you what it's like before I take the rotor off. They look like they're a little bit rusted on. Another thing too that's gonna to be your friend is that can of WD-40. If you got PB Blaster, that's much better than WD-40. But um, it's gonna be your friend because you're gonna have to loosen up all this stuff. Especially stuff that hasn't been taken off in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side apart, finish taking these apart, shoot the auto zone, get my brake pads, and put it all back together. Hopefully I can find a caliber paint and I can go ahead and paint the calibers while I have it up in the air like this. Get with y'all in a minute. All right, I'm back. As you can see, um, well you can't see, but I got my new brake pads. I got one, one completely assembled. <laughs> It's hard to see. Let me grab my flashlight to help. You can see I got one all the way back together. And I also took my grinder and grinded a lot of the rust and um, brake debris off. They gave it a little bit of a metal finish. Because and you can see I got the used paper to kind of mask it off. I use a little bit of masking tape over on that side because I want to paint it. So, that's where we are. I use my little angle grinder, which is here, stuck on a hand wipe, as you can see, with a small brush, not nothing too fancy. I assembled everything, made sure everything was nice and tight. And 
I couldn't find any colors that I wanted. So I'm just going to go with this stuff. You can see that good. There we go. I mean, all else fails. You can't go wrong with red. So I'm going to do one at a time. Also, another thing to check for that I forgot to put on here is to um, always make sure your rotors fit, you know, before you go to AutoZone, swap anything. If you got the new rotors, make sure they fit first. And then I went on ahead and installed the calipers. In any case, this is one whole install. Um, I'm going to do each tire while one is drying. I go to the next one. Then I add another coat to kind of get myself in some type of system. Uh, it takes about two hours. It's going to have to sit like this before I can put the tires back on and jack it down. Time is getting away from me. Of course, grinding them take a little bit more time to grind them down like that. Took me about 30 minutes. So 30 minutes each one is an hour in itself. That's why I said I'm going to um, do one, one at a time instead of assembling them all. Grind it down, paint it. That way it's drying because I expect to put two coats of paint on. I try to get it to where none of the rotor is showing because I don't want any red on the rotor, even though it will burn off if it's on the breaking side of the rotor. Everything is completely assembled. I got my grease on, my brake pads, I got my wire masked off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some paint and I'll show y'all what it look like um, after I do one complete side in a minute. All right, it's the finished result. You can see caliber red. I just bolted it all together and put the caliber on. Turned out pretty decent. I put two coats on the front, one coat on the back since the front is much, much bigger. It um, took up a lot of space. I still got some, some paint left out of the can. I showed you the can I used earlier, but I think it turned out pretty good. We're gonna back up, take a look at the whole truck. We got my tools and stuff out. It's like 8.30 at night. Like I said, doing the calibers, painting them takes some time, man. You're at least going to spend four hours grinding your calibers down, grinding your brackets down, and painting them. One coat, putting two coats on them. If you plan on doing it, expect to spend at least four hours doing it. And that's just to do a decent job. Nothing, nothing better than powder coating. So don't let nobody fool you. Powder coating is the absolute best. But if you're going to do it and do just want something done quick, since I was replacing my rotors, so my rotors can look real good when these um when these wheels get back on. Look how they even look at night. When they get back on, you're going to be able to see through straight to the rim. You're going to see a new rotor. And you're going to see some red calibers. Which, like I said, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yep, so that's where we at. It's nighttime, it's 8 30. I'm tired. I got to get up for work at 3 in the morning. It's been a long day, but I wanted to get this done. At this point, I'm just waiting on one other side to dry and I have to put my tires on. Um, I may just leave it like this until I get off of work tomorrow so I can get as much sleep as possible. But it's like, how long would it take to zip some tires on? You know, not long at all, probably. 30 minutes to zip all the tires back on. I might can put the other three tires back on while I'm waiting on the last tire to dry and jack it down. So that might be what I do. But in any case, thanks for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. It's the end of the video. I hope you did learn how to do brake calibers and um, paint. Paint your calibers, replace the brackets, we'll take the brackets off, take the rotors off, put new rotors on, put new brake pads on, and paint the caliber brackets and paint the calibers. Now, if I had a lot of time, I could have painted the caliber brackets first, set them out in the sun, let them dry, then put those on, then painted the calibers, but it just made more sense to paint it all while it's together. I do highly suggest grinding it down to the metal as much as possible. I showed you what I used earlier in this video. It helped the paint stick a lot better. Um, you'll be able to tell once the first coat dries, you'll see dark spots. got to hit it with that second coat. But that's better than painting over brake dust and grime and dirt and all that. And plus, it'll last a lot longer. Um, 
Red always stand out. Red is honestly like the go-to color for, for brake calibers. I wasn't a big fan of the red because I wanted to get a color that actually matched my, my truck. But uh, I couldn't find one, so I just went on and did this. I didn't want to have to order one and then it'd be wrong and all of that. I'm going to show you this side because this side I'm still, as you can see, I still have the paint on it. It's the last one I had to paint. And I just used printer paper. Slid it in there real good. Slid it straight through real good so it don't get on the rotor at all. I taped up the holes, not the sensor holes, because that that be getting replaced every brake, you know, every other brake change. But I replaced the um, I didn't want to place the caliber holes. As you can see I taped that up, just masked it off and taped it in. It's looking pretty good. I just put a second coat on this. So this is the last side to dry. It takes probably 20 minutes to dry. From there, it takes two hours to be uh, dry to the touch and 24 hours to be completely dry. So it's pretty much me. I'm just not going to drive my truck. This one should be dry enough. You see, I did the same thing. To this side, I know it's dark, but that's what I did to this side, and put some down to catch the um, paint that drips or anything like that. So all I gotta do is throw all that stuff away, but that's ready to come off, and that is about it. Once again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I didn't put it with the new rims on yet. I'm still waiting, but we didn't see the rims plenty of time. One more rim to come, but now when the rims come, I'm ready to just bolt them on. I'm done with all of that. I still got my transmission filter and all that I got to replace. That's the last major thing I need to do, and I'm going to probably get that done sometime this week, maybe Wednesday. Um, I'm back on my work schedule, so this will be the last video for a few days, but I appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something in a minute.